in this exercise we will be creating codata object or you can say codata file the codata file is nothing but your database file the in a previous exercise the way we have created sqlite db.sqlite in this exercise we will be creating employee model but it will be wrapped around codata so till now we were creating always cocoa touch class for the first time we will be creating something a class apart from cocoa touch class called data model basically data model is your database schema core database schema so next i'll give the name as employee model i'll say create so once you create you will get this type of editor now there's something called add entity entity means table now core data is a relational based uh, rdbm relational database basically you can relate two tables together so i'll be creating two tables in this exercise and i'll be relating them through some relationship so when i click add entity the entity comes on here if you don't see this particular panel you just say enter you say employee so you want to create employee table and similarly you will be creating another entity called department now when you select employee you will see attributes attributes are nothing but your column names so when i click on plus i get an error right that's basically there's an issue in the core data from xcode 5 and above so you click any other file come back to your core data file you will find attribute have been created in your attribute list double click on that say first name so i have a column name called first name which is of type string similarly you will create a column called last name which will be of type string and say salary again let's give it a name float type float similarly we will be creating attributes for department so department i'll say name which will be of type string department always has budget so as a budget will be of type float now i want to create a relationship between the employee and department so employee belongs to department so whenever there is an entry in your employee table there should be a corresponding entry inside the department table so i'll click on a plus sign which is under the relationship table i'll say belongs to i'll say destination is department so employee belongs to department and i'll go to department i'll create a relationship say department contains employee now you want to have a reverse uh, relationship so contains opposite is belongs to and automatically belongs to opposite is contained because the relationship between the employee and the department is cascade so anything happens to the employee table which will affect the department table any changes happen in the department table will affect the employee table now you have created your database schema so you can create your table you can set the attributes you can set your relationship you can always see them as a graphical also so basically core data is nothing but a database editor embedded inside the xcode now there's a some rules which we have to follow okay so we will be creating equal number of pure model class as their number of entities so there are two entities created there should be two pure model class created in your project so in the next exercise we'll see how to create those two pure model class